it's that time. It's time for chapter 25 of the first rule of punk. And I really like the last chapter because it kind of picked what song they're going to play. They were in discussion about being a band and believing in oneself. And I really liked her zine about the music. So chapter 25 picks up and says, of course you can sing in Spanish, Mrs. Hidalgo said. We were in the Hidalgo's basement the next afternoon, and Joe had filled her in on our plan. As expected, she was more than willing to help. I don't know, I said nervously. Maybe this isn't the best idea after all. Save it, Ellie said. She twirled a drumstick in her hand with an attitude that said she wasn't in the mood to accept self-deprecating comments. You heard the story my mother told. She could sing in English before she could speak English. And Richie Valens couldn't speak Spanish when he sang La Bamba, Mrs. Hidalgo said. La 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 bamba. Besides, it's an, easy, it's an easy song to learn. And since you already know Spanish, it won't be a problem. You just have to memorize the lyrics and believe you can do it. Right, Joe? You got this, dude, Joe said with a thumbs up. Maybe your mom can help with the singing, too, Mrs. Hidalgo suggested. Her mom doesn't even know she's in a band, Joe said and laughed. What? Mrs. Hidalgo looked really surprised. Really? Why? I glared at Joe for opening his big mouth. I don't think she'd like that I'm spending my time on a band instead of doing something more productive. I made air quotes to indicate that productive was one of my mom's words. Plus, punk bands are the kind of thing senoritas are into. Says who, Mrs. Hidalgo asked, her hands on her hips. I think you should give your mom a chance, and you definitely need to tell her. I can't help you behind her back. I believe in your right to rock, but I also abide by the mom code. Ooh. What does she think you're doing after school anyway, Benny asked. Chess club, Billy offered. Something like that, I said. I tell her I'm at Kalaka doing homework or helping Mr. Buck in the library. As long as she thinks I'm getting involved and happy here, she's totally fine. Well, you are getting involved with school, Benny said. I think your mom would be happy to know that you're doing something that you really enjoy with friends, Mrs. Hidalgo said. What's wrong with being in a band, Ellie asked. It's not like you're out robbing banks. You guys don't know, Super Mexican, I said. Benny, Joe, and Ellie laughed. It's not just about being in a band. And I don't want to talk about it anymore, okay? I'll tell her soon. Can we just go get to work? Mrs. Hidalgo put a hand on my shoulder and leaned in close. Sooner than later will be best, she said. Let me know if you want some help. Thanks, I said. I will. But I still wasn't convinced that I ever had to let Mom know about the Cocos. By the way, I've played this song before, Benny said, pulling his trumpet out of its case. He inhaled, put the trumpet to his lips, and played Cielto... Chiel, Chielito Lindo. Wow, I said when he finished. You're really good. Benny shrugged, looking embarrassed. You ready to sing now, Maria Luisa? Joe asked. Now? Yes, now, Joe said. Or are you waiting for a written invitation? Why don't we start working on the music, Mrs. Hidalgo said, and give Malu time to get the lyrics down, all right? Yeah, I said, fanning my sweaty armpits and waiting for the ground to swallow me up. That sounds good. I got the group to talk about talent show details before we wrapped up for the afternoon. I managed to go the whole practice without seeing, singing. We'll need a flyer, I said. Something we can hand out to kids who might be interested in performing or who want to see us. I'll draw something cool, Joe said. Something funky, maybe with some Posada influences. He grinned conspiratorially. And I bet Mr. Baca would let me use the copier in the library. Awesome, I said. We're really doing this. You think you'll be ready to sing next time? Benny asked. I chewed on the inside of my lip and tried not to freak out at the thought of singing in Spanish. Earth to Malu, Joe said. You're not going to chicken out on us, are you? Joe started clucking and flapping his arms like a chicken until Ellie gave him a playful shove. She's not chickening out, right? Ellie asked and smiled. I'm not chickening out, I said. I'll be ready. Maybe if I said it enough times, it would be true. Bam. Well, do you think she'll be ready? I don't think so. She needs to tell her mom. 